how to prove the existence of God the simple philosophical way. Let's go over some terms before we start. The word necessary existent, wajib al wujud, means an existent which does not need, require, or depend upon any other existent for coming into being. A possible existent depends on something else for it to be realized. For example, this table depends upon wood and a carpenter. Let's explain further. A statement has two parts, a subject and a predicate. A predicate states something about the subject. If I say the sun is above my head, the sun will be the subject, above my head will be the predicate. To establish the predicate for the subject, it can only have three states. Number one, impossible. It is like me saying the number three is greater than four, and this is impossible. Number two, necessary. It is like me saying two is half of four, and this is necessary as it's always the case. And three, possible. It is like the table example we gave. It is possible to exist, but it depends upon the material. So going back to the statement, the sun is above my head. Is it impossible for the sun to be above my head? No. Is it necessary for the sun to be above my head? No, because it's not always above my head. Is the sun possible to be above my head? Yes, because it depends on movement for it to be realized. So in philosophy, they don't study the impossible because there is no point discussing if 3 is greater than 4. And also only existence is discussed in philosophy. So that leaves us with the necessary and possible. So when we say something exists, it leaves us with three likelihoods. Number one, everything that exists is necessary. Two, everything that exists is possible. Or three, some existences are necessary and some are possible. Number one, everything that exists is necessary is impossible. Why? This car or this human, are they necessary? Did they depend on anything else to be realized or come into being? Of course they did. The car depends on material or on engineers and etc. The human depends on its mother and its father to be realized. So this crosses out everything that exists is necessary. Second likelihood, everything that exists is possible. It's like me saying C was caused by B, and B was caused by A, and A was caused by Z, and Z was caused by so and so, and etc. This will go on forever and this is impossible, and also known as an infinite regress, because logically, we know that it must stop somewhere. What if A created B, and B created C, and C created A? Also known as a vicious circle, this is also impossible. So this crosses out everything that exists is possible. This leaves us with the third likelihood, which some existence are necessary and some existence are possible, which is the correct answer. And a necessary existence that does not need, require or depend upon any other existence for coming into being, could only be God, which will be explained in further lessons.